Okay, you're gonna have to forgive me for this little bit of a rant, but yeah, it's not gonna be filtered. The following segment is rated R for language violence and brief nudity. Windows 10, man, I tell you what, Windows 10 has, it's reached a new level of anger for me. Now, I have been really, really trying to give Windows 10 the benefit of the doubt. I thought, you know what, Microsoft, they can't screw this up too bad. After all, this is the leapfrog op uh, operating system, you know? Windows ME sucked, Windows, you know, Vista sucked, uh, Windows 8.1 sucked, but all the other ones were pretty decent, you know? Windows XP was fantastic, Windows 7, pretty good. I thought, hey, you know what, maybe Windows 10 was going to be good. I am so fucking angry at Windows 10 that I just have to vent because, hey, that's what you do on the internet. You vent. Okay, so let me start off by saying why the hell I would actually want to get into Windows 10. After all, I did say in a previous video that I was avoiding Windows 10 at all costs. Well, that's true. I was avoiding Windows 10 at all costs, but I had this burning thing in the back of my head saying, you know what, Jason, you kind of need to know whether or not Windows 10 is going to be uh, fully compatible with Plex, um, because that's my whole thing is, you know, servers, media servers, that sort of thing. And, you know, how it runs, any kind of bugs, you know, are there any performance gains or losses when you do it? I mean, these are burning questions that I, I really wanted to address. And I figured the best way to address those is to install Windows 10 on the same system System, running all the same hardware that I used with Windows 7 and that will let me to gauge you know how well Plex operates so yeah this past weekend I decided hey let's install Windows 10 on a spare hard drive I had a spare you know one terabyte hard drive I'm like you know what let's throw it on there let's install everything um, let's do a fresh install of Windows 10 and by that I mean I actually used an upgrade well, actually, it's back up a little bit. I cloned my Windows 7, then used an upgrade to go to Windows 10. But when I did that, I actually told it to wipe out everything. That way it was just completely fresh. I didn't want to leave anything up to chance that something was going to get lost in translation while I'm going up to Windows 10 because, you know, I don't really trust Microsoft's ability to actually do something that well. So I, I tried to do it myself. I went through all the rounds of getting everything installed. I had it up and running. It was slow. It was really slow and mainly because I was installing it on a hard drive, but you know what? I understood that. So I just went ahead and installed Plex. Now I signed it to all the same uh, information that Plex had on my Windows 7 installation. I mean, I had the same Plex data folder. I had the same Plex settings, I had everything exactly the same. I'm like on a roll here. I'm thinking, hey, this is going to be great. But Plex was slow. The web interface was slow. The uh, interface on my Xbox was slow. Even watching it on my Fire TV was a little slow when I was scrubbing through TV shows and movies. So I only figured that, hey, this, hasn't, this isn't necessarily a Windows 10 thing. This is just the fact that I'm running it off of a standard H or hard drive. Now, I didn't have a spare SSD to kind of tinker with. All I had was just a spare hard drive. My main SSD is basically a PCI Express Revo, Revo Drive 3. 50, which I really didn't want to overwrite. So here's the frustration. So I get into this and I think, okay, you know what? I have everything set up. I have everything ready to go. Let's go ahead and create an image of this SS or of this hard drive and then create an image of my old uh, hard drive, my PCI Express, save all that to an extra hard drive that I have or another hard drive that I have. And then boom, I'll just move everything over to my primary PCI Express SSD. After all, it only takes like what, maybe 45 minutes to an hour tops to, you know, get back to my original programming that I had with Windows 7. No big deal. Well, this is where the hatred starts for Windows 10. By the way, Microsoft and Windows 10, for some reason, I can't get Windows 10 to copy over to my PCI Express. I just can't do it. I backed it up. I tried to do the clone. I did the Acronis boot CD. I did the Windows 10 backup and then restore, try to do that through the Windows boot CD. I couldn't get anything to actually go over to my PCI Express device. Now, I was able to go through the process with Acronis, the backup boot CD, that actually worked for me, but I couldn't get Windows 10 to boot. It gave me errors or it would just not boot at all. I would get the black screen with the little mouse. I get the blue screen that says unable to boot for some random fucking reason. So I went through and I restored it a couple times. Then I said, fuck it, let's just start all over again. I went back to my hard drive. I did another new image, made sure everything was booted right. Ugh. I went through this, I could not get it to run whatsoever. And then after all of that, after I failed miserably, I said, you know what? 
fuck it. I've basically already destroyed my PCI Express installation with all my Windows 7 on it, so I'm going to bed, right? Fuck it all. Fuck Windows 10. Fuck Microsoft. Fuck your little nitty gritty bullshit booting operating. You know what? That's another thing. Windows 7, I can take an image of that. I can clone that thing to multiple fucking hard drives if I want to. I can I can create an image of it. I can I can clone it. I can duplicate it. I can do whatever I want to with Windows 7. And for the majority of the time, it will work. It will just boot up. It'll fucking work. No big fucking deal. You create your clone. You create your image. You're good to go. Take it to multiple devices. Take it to multiple hard drives, different computers, whatever. You might have to do different drives but hey, it's going to fucking work. Windows 8, Windows 10, not so much. I say Windows 8 too included with this because I had the same experience with Windows 8 during installation. You see, Microsoft, they have decided, and I have no fucking idea why, they have decided to cater their operating system solely to their ignorant people out there. That's it. Just just cater it to like, you know, grandma, grandpa, and Ashley at college going to fucking Starbucks to get her latte and her Ugg boots. Why? Because that's the way it is. It's like, oh, something broke. I don't know how to fix it. Let's refresh my entire fucking computer and lose everything that I fucking have already set up. Oh, you get to keep your files. Well, whoop the fucking do. You know what I used to be able to do? I used to be able to boot up into safe mode with networking and figure out what the fuck was going on. Maybe I had a, a display driver going wrong or maybe something that I installed is fucking up. Maybe I got malware, maybe spyware, what the fuck ever. No, you know, safe boot was, was where it was. Not anymore. They claim to have safe boot, but it doesn't fucking work, no matter what. And it's not like I'm booting up too fast either. I mean, it's, it was on a standard fucking hard drive. Wait, I didn't even tell you that. So I tried to boot back to the old hard drive and then that had a problem booting up. I decided to give up on everything, tackle it another day, run it off my main slow ass hard drives for you know a day or two until I could get back and fix it or figure it out or what the fuck ever. But no, the main hard drive decided, I don't wanna boot up anymore. I got a boot error. Could not figure it fucking out. It wouldn't let me boot in a safe mode. It wouldn't let me do anything except for refresh or redo my drive completely. And it gets fucking better. It's amazing how fucking better it gets. So after I do all that, I put the, I, I fell at all that. I put that stupid CD that helps you recover and I had an image already ready to go. I put the CD in there, I throw it in there, I boot it up, I, or I do the restore thing with the image and it boots up. I'm like, oh, well this is cool. And then I get a blue screen of death. Well, actually it wasn't really a blue screen of death. It was like a it was close to blue. It just, the whole thing fucking crashed right then and there. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? I have no idea. It booted up fine. Everything was fucking good. It just crashed on me. Then I try to boot it again. Bam, I get a boot error. <sighs> So here I am, I have no fucking operating system. I have to go to sleep because I had to go to work the next morning and it's like 2.30 in the morning. Gotta get up in like five hours. So this is fucking wonderful. So again, fuck you Windows 10. I don't know why Windows 10 or Windows 8 for that matter is so finicky when it comes to booting up. It's like you get one small error, the whole thing fucking wipes out and says, fuck you, you gotta reprogram or you gotta refresh, you gotta do that bullshit. I personally do not understand why they went down this route of making everything so stupid friendly. You know, yeah, maybe the normal person is gonna walk down and be like, oh, well, my computer's broke, what should I do? And then somebody else can be like, well, you just gotta reprogram it. Just go through the shiny little buttons and, and click the pretty little boxes and reprogram your shit. Why does that have to be for everybody? Why can't I get something where I can actually recover what I was doing or go in and change things? You know, why does why does F8 or F, F10 not fucking work? Why can I not get in a safe boot? I know Windows 10 has it. It just won't fucking work. I hit Shift F8. I hit F8. I hit F10. I freaking reset it many, many times. Did everything that I have ever used ever before in my entire life when troubleshooting a computer and I cannot get the fucker into safe boot. And then when I looked it up online, it looked like in order to enable some kind of safe boot thing, you actually had to be in the operating system to enable the ability to get into safe boot, I think. I don't know. At the point when I was was looking into it, I was so infuriated. I saw that and I just closed out my phone because that's what I had to use because my computer didn't fucking work. Case in point, fuck Microsoft, 
fuck Windows 10, fuck their bullshit spying that they do on everybody. The, the, the entire spy thing, that just pisses me off, man. Microsoft is just a fucking dick move, right? They want to give everybody this free operating system. That's all fucking glorious, except for the fact that it's basically one big fucking spyware program with an operating system on top of it. You can disable anything you fucking want to, but, but Cortana is just going to track everything you fucking do, send everything up to the mothership, and there's nothing you can fucking do about it. Unless you actually know what you're doing with your system. You can block host files, you can destroy the whole Cortana application that's running in the background and delete that, even though that's a pain in the ass too. Oh, and if you do that, you can't put this on the, the Windows search at the bottom because if you put it in your taskbar and you reboot, it's gone. It doesn't like the fact that you went around Cortana, so that gets pissed off. The only thing you can do is put it on your desktop. <sighs> This is a big rant. I understand that. But I went through the entire weekend of working with Windows 10, trying to get it to run and be not so dubious. I, I, I wanted to control the, what it was reading off of me. I don't want it collecting my data or selling my information to the highest bidder, or for that matter, putting all of my information in one single spot for some fucking hacker to come around and be like, oh, look at all this. I can see everything about this motherfucker. Oh, he likes computer parts. Oh, you know, he likes this. He likes that. Well, let's spam the fuck out of him. Oh, you like, you like fucking whatever. On top of the whole boot issue, the boot issue is just, just infuriating. And then you can't copy it or move it to anything else. Even when you use Windows own software to take a, an image of your hard drive and move it to another hard drive, it won't let you do it. It just airs out and says some bullshit about call to disk operation something something what the fuck ever it just does not fucking work it's complete bullshit windows 7 can copy it anywhere i want to windows 10 is a big pile of garbage piece of shit fucking motherfucker and i hope that they get sued for this shit i hope that somebody somewhere decides hey let's do a class action lawsuit to sue the fuck out of microsoft for a couple things one spying on everybody Fuck you, Microsoft, for data collection. I hope you get hacked. I hope hacktivists or hacks go out there and, and take all of that information that you're collecting on everybody out there and holds it for fucking ransom. And then when you don't pay or when you do pay, I don't give a flying fuck, they still release all that information. Not that I want any harm done to anybody as far as their personal information being let out in the wild, but I do want you to have your ass sued so fucking far up to hell that you have to undo everything that you just, you just did. Second, fuck your booting process. What the fuck? Can you make this just a little bit more closer to Windows 7 and the method of boot process than Windows 10? Because it sucks fucking dick. Right now, it sucks big dick. You need to change that shit. It's bullshit. Number three, fuck you. Fuck your shit. Fuck Windows 10, fuck Windows 8, fuck Windows 8.1, fuck everything you do. I'm sticking with Windows 7, and if that shit goes out of style and you drop that shit like Windows XP to try to force everybody on your goddamn data collection bullshit, then I'm just going to have to learn Linux because fuck Windows. Fuck Windows in the fucking ass it came from. That's right. Fuck Windows. Look, I could go on for a long time about the frustrations I had this weekend, but I'm going to be honest... There's just too much to cover in this video. There's a lot of hassles that I went through and I look forward to never doing that again with Windows 10. I do know that at some point I'm gonna have to tackle Windows 10 again, whether it's to test something or have a test bench or, or whatever. I do know this because I'm getting a new video card soon and I'm gonna have to test some things out. But I really, really don't want to. I, I just... I hate Windows 10.